Now, although, yes, you can consider it freakery, if you have the means, you can find yourself paying several hundreds of thousands of pounds for a pair of stereo speakers. Uh, I do not have the means to do that. And so I am very grateful that Ed Selly has chosen a rather more modest pair of speakers for his pick of the year. And they're also from a homegrown band, brand, although uh, relatively unknown except by audiophiles. So Ed, what have you chosen as your pick of the year? Um, this wasn't a difficult decision. The, it, the product in question is a loudspeaker. It's the Neat Petite Classic. Um, it debuted uh, in 2022. And um, I was talking earlier on about greatness and indefinable quality of greatness um throughout the rest of the show other people have been naming their products and they are technological tour de forces they've got all manner of very very clever features and engineering this by contrast um there is the phrase meat and two veg engineering um this is not a complicated device uh it, it has a relatively sophisticated tweeter it's called an air motion transformer it's a derivative of a ribbon tweeter but the, the mid base driver is made out of doped paper and it is in fact based very closely on an originally the, the very first neat speaker which debuted in 1991 um despite that it is just an utter joy to spend time with and listen to um going back to what i said um and what i've said before i mean there are speakers i have reviewed for sound advice which are technologically much more sophisticated they do all manner of impressive things but if i had to sit down and listen indefinitely to some any of the things i've reviewed on the site this year it's these because they do joy and like, you can't measure joy um there's no uh, sort of industry standard for for joy um but they simply make me happy to listen to and they do this whilst asking almost nothing of you uh, as as a purchaser they are incredibly easy to drive they are very room friendly unless you wedge them in a corner they are going to do the things that they are supposed to do um, they then sound far larger than you would reasonably expect something which is uh, 30 centimeters tall and not particularly deep to uh, actually sound um, and they're incredibly forgiving uh, it's a, a matter of um, some note in the industry my music collection it does have some things that are recognizably music in it but it has plenty of things that are not um, and they are extraordinarily forgiving um, they simply sound magnificent with everything I've played on them and connected to a bewildering variety of things uh, I mean uh, so can, if this is a confessional sort of space I really should have given the review samples back but they're so useful for testing other objects that um, they're actually still in the house at the moment um, they are as best uh, to all intents and purposes unless you need a grill when well, they don't have one of those they're viceless there isn't a single other thing that i would say is is wrong with them unless you have a barn to fill in the outer hebrides and you're a heavy dub fan they will not be found wanting that is what they do and they are truly and unapologetically ex exceptional at it now, I, you're obviously utterly delighted with these speakers and you say you oh, haven't yeah. given the review samples back. <laughs> uh, if I threaten to take the review samples away and give them back, do you think you could find uh, your your hand going to your wallet and paying out good old fashioned Ed Selly money to keep them? The only complexity here is that I own, how should we put this, more than a pair of loudspeakers already. Um, doesn't stop you with trainers though does it so, the, so does no 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 but, but they take up they take up less room in my defense <laughs> if essentially no if i had um if i had cause now to buy a pair of loudspeakers and even if i had a budget of significantly more than two thousand pounds in terms of the sheer ability to dial in and make me happy listening to them yes there's not that, that there's not any other pair, I'm going to stick my knacker here, there's not another pair of loudspeakers under £5,000 I would have over these ones. Um, and there will be an element of subjectivity to this. Um, I, there's no sense getting around it. Uh, I would always recommend if you're going to spend a couple of thousand pounds of your own money that for goodness sake, go and listen to the things first. But I have been heartened speaking to people on social media and in other, other areas, people who have lit, read various reviews um, and gone, yeah, I went out and listened to them. And yes, I, I bought my own pair. They do seem to, to, do what they're doing for me for for most other people as well so um it, it's not not a freak occurrence um as you say neat is you know it's not a household name um 
They're a relatively small concern. They're based up in Barnard Castle. Um, yes, that Barnard Castle um, in County Durham. Uh, they've been going, as I say, since the early 90s. Uh, and it has to be said that they don't generally make bad products at all. Uh, they, they Almost everything I've ever listened to the company from has been exceptionally musical, exceptionally enjoyable. These are great. And as I say, greatness is an indefinable quality, but they have it in spades and they've done it well towards the bottom end of their pricing structure it's uh, you asked um andrew earlier on in the show if i could see myself in a year saying you know has anything changed is this still um i will no doubt i have every confidence i'm going to hear another product in 2023 which elicits the same response from me and i'd be desperately disappointed if i didn't i'm pretty confident it won't be another pair of loudspeakers though well, I I think I'll write make a note of that, and this time <laughs> next year I will ask you if those same speakers are still gracing your sitting room, and we'll find out. But being yeah, an AV reviewer, you have speakers of all shapes and sizes to review throughout the year. In fact, all types of bits of kit, uh, the, from the the most enormous sort of Macintosh amps and things like that. Uh, I, I kind of expected you to choose a, a, a larger pair of, of speakers or something like that. These are quite a dinky choice. Um, so they, why the, why the small size? Uh, well, now this is a, 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 a hobby horse that I will ride for some, for, have been for some years and will continue to ride. My considered opinion is that in almost all UK lounge situations, you are better served by stand mounts than you are floor standers. Um, most of us simply don't have the space to dial in very large pairs. Like you will get better results from a smaller speaker on a decent pair of stands. Um, and and the other thing is, I'm I'm not blind to to you know the cost of some some of the items that we've looked at both on sound advice and some of the items being reviewed across the specialist press. It's just so genuinely refreshing to experience the the, the real excitement that you get from listening to something exceptional at a, uh, I'm not going to say cheap, cheap, that's an absurd thing to say, at a price which is not a fantasy. And I just felt that that was genuinely worth celebrating. Um, and that's yet another sort of reason that sort of factored into my decision-making process. No, I've, I've listened to s some other product. I mean, there's, there's always things here where there's an enormous pang of regret to send them back. It doesn't necessarily mean they're greater in terms of their impact and emotional quality than the neat is so ed's choice of the year the uh neat petite classic speakers mm -hmm. 